Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to GFD Traders Espresso with me, that is on Charles, because today is the 17th of April 2020, so we have welcome everyone, welcome to this um, Friday's morning session, recorded session of course. Uh, as always guys, we'll, we'll quickly have a look at the markets, a few of the charts, um, see how some of the instruments that we looked at yesterday have performed uh, today, uh, well, overnight. Um, but yep, as always, before we do that, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, I'll give you a few seconds to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, also, um, just before we jump in um, into the charts, quick reminder of our uh, GFD YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course, our GFD Bank website and specifically our GFD research page, which we update on a daily basis as well. So yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there guys on the top so um, also just a quick uh, update on what's happening here um, in terms of the coronavirus uh, so let me just quickly refresh the figure and of course we have uh, well the number has risen but uh, the best part is that um, after I've looked at today then the number is not really uh, growing that rapidly so uh, we are seeing a, a slight slowdown um, so yep a bit of a, a bit of positive pos a bit of positivity here I would say um, so yep and this basically leading into the markets here so looking at the first index here the the German DAX uh, we can see that yesterday the index uh, kind of closed slightly in the in the in the positive territory not not much um, but, and but the most important here thing from the technical side is the fact that it remained above this upside support line taken from the low of the 19th of March so looking at the cash index right now we can see that the price is currently balancing around at around 10,660 mark so basically still below this barrier but getting close to it so that's basically the current highest point of um, of this week and in a way how we could look at it is, at it is we will remain uh, we will remain neutral for now because uh, again or should I say cautiously bullish uh, because in order for us to get comfortable with higher levels we need to see a push above this level because up until here it could travel a little bit higher fail to test the current high of this week and then reverse back down so that's why to be on the safe side we would prefer to see a push above the 10,820 zone and then aim for higher levels as I said uh, looking at the cash index right now we are very close to it so let's continue monitoring and if the the reports of uh uh, surrounding the coronavirus are going to be coming out pos on more on the positive side today then yep this could uh, drag a little bit higher um, now don't get me wrong overall overall we're still bearish because uh, this move higher could still be seen as a temporary correction uh, before another uh, leg of uh, leg of selling because again overall we are and looking at this daily chart we are still below the 200 EMA here and in a way anything kind of up until that could be seen as a as a temporary correction so that's why uh, guys yes we will aim for higher levels if we get a break of this of this 10,820 but we'll take it with a pinch of salt because again the situation globally is not really uh, great um, China reports its uh, worst uh, GDP ever so yeah the economy is is battered a little bit so uh, well maybe not a little bit but um, that's why guys I mean don't get your hopes up yet if you let's say or should I say the bulls should not get their hopes up if we see uh, a further push higher here uh, this move higher could be seen as a temporary correction so that's why be very careful for now guys uh, for, from the very short term perspective yes we will be aiming for higher levels but as I said we will remain very very careful um, 
FTSE 100 now uh, this one yesterday closed in uh, well it closed in the in the red slightly to be honest um, although here the data is um, okay that's a little bit interesting so this is uh, yeah that's a bit of uh, uh, oh sorry yes the index closed in the positive territory there we go sorry it did that's all fine it's all fine so yes it closed slightly in the positive territory not much again I managed to gain a little bit here but <clears throat> the most important thing is that it kind of struggled this week. It kind of struggled to stay above this uh, 5,815 territory. It pushed a little bit higher, created a new high, um, f and uh, kind of uh, a new high for from after we had a reversal here from the m around mid March, um, and then drifted back down. So to be honest, we can actually capture this little high and kind of monitor it in this area around the 8,000, uh, sorry, 5,895 territory. So that's that was the high of this week. And in a way, we could keep an eye on that one because um, if this starts reversing higher and push pushes closer to this territory, which to be honest is happening right now on the foot uh, on the cash index, we are seeing a push above to, uh, above the 5,800 level already. So uh, basically the index is currently back around here somewhere. So we'll have a nice opening gap here to the upside. Um, however, we would probably, uh, we'll, we'll, we could keep an eye on this level, the one that I've mentioned previously, the eight the 5,815 territory uh, but you can also now keep your eyes on the current highest point of this week which is around the, eight, the 5,895 territory a, pu a push above this barrier would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, yep this could lead to some further acceleration to the upside so for now keep your eyes on this one uh, let's see how if, if we can make a new high for this week now then ethereum okay so this one is a little bit of a disappointment so yesterday i looked at this one and uh ethereum was breaking as one was already tr already broke and it was trading below this upside support line but uh it quickly got a boost in the second in the end of the day and uh well it traveled higher and uh, basically it came close to uh, testing its current high of April which is around the 176.50 territory so roughly around here um, it this area also coincides with the uh, with the 200 EMA here on the daily chart so very important level um, now in terms of these lines now these lines got violated both of them so basically we, what we can do here is get rid of them because we're no longer going to monitor them because Again, as I said, they have been violated. Now, what we're going to be looking at here it will be two levels. We'll, we'll be looking at this little range here. Now, uh, we'll, the one, the first level that I've mentioned, the 176.50, that's the one we're going to be keeping close eye on here. And the other one will be this area where the pair found, uh, where the uh, crypto found good support yesterday. So that's uh, roughly around uh, 146.60 zone. So uh, that also marks the high of the uh, 4th of April. So we'll keep an eye on these two highlighted areas. We'll see how everything. Uh, plays out here but uh, basically for now we will remain a little bit on the neutral side and uh, we need to see a clear breakthrough one of these highlighted areas before we could consider a further short-term directional move guys now WTI oil so finally we had a close below the uh, psychological 20 territory and uh, well I mean this of course is not looking good here for uh, WTI oil however we will remain very careful because we are dealing with extraordinary times right now so yes for now we will be targeting the downside but in case this suddenly starts reversing sharply to the upside well this is where we could maybe abandon the Mm, the downside scenario uh, temporarily because especially if the price travels back above the 26.08 zone which is the lowest point of 2016 right here so um, and uh, but again that's in terms of the upside in terms of the downside yep we are still leaning more towards that we're leaning towards the lower levels and uh, especially given the fact that yesterday the uh, the commodity closed below that psychological 20 zone so in a way this increases the chances of a potential drift towards the next possible area of support and that's going to be roughly around the 17.12 territory uh, which is the lowest point of November 2000 and one guys so keep your eyes on that one um, let me just jump back into a daily chart 
um, gold. Let's quickly have a look at gold. So gold, uh, I talked about this one uh, yesterday as well. And what I was saying that uh, to keep an eye on this uh, little short term upside support line. And of course, this this barrier here, the 1704 territory, 1704, 1703. This is where the uh, commodity is currently balancing at. So what I was saying that if this upside line breaks and we see a nice good drift below this territory, below this high of, of March, near the 1704 zone, then th this could open the doors towards lower levels. For now, um, yes, it, it is kind of moving lower today right now this morning, uh, but if this sudden somehow holds, if this territory holds, we could see a nice rebound and a push higher. So basically, uh, we can get rid of this upside line. We no longer need it. It got violated, um, but... Um, yeah, but uh, the 1704 zone, that's where we're going to be keeping a close eye on today because if, this, the, if the uh, precious metal drifts lower, then this could open the doors towards a, a deeper uh, extension to the downside, a deeper correction lower. Um, if this upside, uh, if this support zone holds, we could see a nice rebound and uh, push uh, higher again, maybe towards the uh, the current high of this week. Uh, for now, we have to say it this way, although I doubt that it might reach this area today. However, the current highest point of, of this week, around the which is around the 1747 zone, uh, that's the one to watch uh, because a break of this one would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, well this could open the path to its higher levels for now the com commodity seems to be willing to correct a little bit let's see if it can do that uh, ADJPY quick update on, on this one I'm not going to spend too much time on this one but uh, yesterday I talked about uh, AODGPY and what I was saying that to keep an eye on this uh, highlighted area here this uh, support zone between roughly between the 67.37 and the 67. 70 levels you can see that this territory held nicely and the the pair rebounded and pushed higher however uh, in order to aim for slightly higher levels up and at least up until this downside line taken from uh, taken from the high of the 16th of January uh, we would need to see a push above the current highest point of this week which is around the 69.27 and only then we could aim for a bit of upside for now, we will remain neutral and we'll continue observing the price action. If this uh, pair starts drifting below this highlighted territory, uh, this one right here, the one on the, the support zone, then, well, I mean, we could uh, aim for a bit of declines here. We could aim, maybe go all the way here back to the this key area of support around the 64.92 zone. So keep your eyes on that one. USDJPY, um, yesterday it pushed also to the upside. Um, we managed to stay above this downside line, this tentative short term, tentative downside line taken from the high of the 25th of of March. Um, this morning we're seeing a bit of a correction here to the downside. Well, I mean, that's understandable. Um, the equity the equities are uh, the, fu the the future markets are gaining so um, and basically people are jumping off uh, safe havens like yen and Swiss franc so um, long story short uh, however given the the move lower here still what I was saying previously uh, we need to see a drop below this territory here right here the 106.92 before uh, considering further declines for now if this pair remains above this downside line, this could still uh, quickly reverse the, uh, or should I say the bulls could quickly jump in here, take advantage of the lower rate and push this one higher again. So, yep, something to consider, something to keep an eye on, guys. Uh, for now, uh, probably the suggestion here is not don't um, don't rush into this yet. If we start for today, for example, if we start pushing above the uh, this territory right here, the 108.08 zone, then yes, we we will aim for slightly higher levels. Um, but if it if it stays around here somewhere, then we'll just um, well we'll just remain neutral. Uh, USD CAD. Now uh, this is what I talked about uh, yesterday as well. Basically, what I was saying that if even if it drifts a little bit lower, as long as it remains a above this downside line here taken from the high of the 19th of March we will uh, stay somewhat positive now uh, because for us to get excited with the downside we need to see a, a drop back below this downside line and the drop below the 1.3922 territories somewhere around here and then we could um, we could uh, 
continue drifting to the downside but again for now it is where it is uh, we will remain neutral we'll continue observing the price action and what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna probably keep an eye on some of these high levels here they uh, may be around the 1.4132 that we will can start considering maybe higher levels the only problem is of course uh, the high of yesterday uh, which is around the 1.4182 level now this is for the for those who are more on the conservative side uh, you could wait for a push above this barrier and then kind of aim for higher levels for now we can remain neutral and just continue observing the price action um, and especially continue monitoring this downside line let's see if the pair uh, can get back below it uh, GBP and ZD, a quick mentioning on this one. The, yesterday I talked about this uh, this pair and what I was saying that we needed to see a nice good break above this 2.10 zone before considering higher levels. We we got close to it, we didn't break it, and you can see this is the, the result we had. We It quickly reversed back down. So basically, um, now what we're looking here at is this level here, the 2.0764 territory, roughly around here, which previously acted as good area of resistance. Now it could take the role of support if we see the pair drifting below that further below that then yes uh, maybe we could go for a bit of a, a deeper correction here to the downside however uh, still be very careful guys it's a very tricky pair both of the currencies are on the weaker side right now so basically it's a, it's a matter of who is going to out pull which one um, so yep for now for now guys keep your eyes on this one uh keep your eyes on the um on some of these levels here the of course the more important one is this one the 2.10 because if we get a nice push above this this could open the path to its higher levels uh and finally euro usd um here the situation is difficult as well um now yesterday let me just jump into a four hour chart so yesterday we had a break of this upside line but we had a rebound from this downside line so um basically Basically, we're stuck here and this is what I was talking about yesterday because uh, basically we will remain neutrals here because for us to consider the downside we need to see a drop below the 1.0777 and only then we could aim for lower levels for now it's um it's a bit of a no man's game and uh, even with the upside uh, it's we would need to see a push back above this barrier right here the 1.05 oh sorry 1.0953 territory and a push above the 200 ema on the four hour chart and only then we could aim for higher levels for now it is where it is guys uh we're just going to continue observing the price action so um okay guys i really hope you found it useful thank you very much for sticking around and watching it till the end um if you want to capture my video later on my traders um tea time uh, that's around 13 15 GMT time so yep uh, we'll have a look at some of these instruments some new ones and we'll pick up uh, yep on everything again I'll see we'll see how everything's getting along in the market um, should be an interesting day um, although there's not a lot of economic data but politically wa political wise um, and, cor and from the coronavirus perspective that's going to be quite interesting so yeah uh, keep your eyes on the market guys and let's see how everything's getting along and of course keep your eyes on oil so that's one this one is going to be quite interesting to watch and will be quite interesting to see where it will end the week will it end the week below that psychological 20 uh, zone or not so okay guys thank you very much and i'll see you later bye bye